Good afternoon, white shaving enthusiasts and newbies. Welcome to the Rabbit Hole with Cal Shaves. Today we're going to be doing a, a dual slant razor video. I did one several months ago. Today I'm going to be using Fine Accoutrements Super Light. I bought this from Justin Chatelaine out of Toronto several months ago. This is half ounce ABS construction with UV hardened metallic coating, approximately a three inch handle. And several months ago, on loan from Lyle Navard, the Sask Shaver, also got this really strange looking slant. This is an Upsol Solinger, or sorry, Solingen. This is made in Germany. These were made, according to Wikipedia, between 1932 and 1939. They were a brand of a company called uh, Vuz and Essers KG. I believe, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right or not. But we'll give that a try. Now, what makes this different is that it's got, you loosen it up, you can tilt it back and forth. So, now I know that Lyle did a video on it. I haven't watched it. I just want to do it, you know. I'll watch it after I'm done. I just want to get a feel for it on my own. Now, in both those, I also got a recent mail call from Dennis Short. He won my Christmas giveaway. Um, and... As a thanks, up well as a couple of pucks of soap, he also sent me a uh, full sleeve of Gillette uh, Silver Blues. I don't think I've tried these before, so I've got those both loaded up. And we're also going to be using Strike Gold Shave, Nixon. Frank Mesa, uh, he gets uh, Jenny Martin to make these. She is decked in bubbles. This is their Commander-in-Chief formula, their tallow. This is a uh, net weight of 5 ounce. And send notes on this one are Sorrento Lemon, a sugar cane, and lemon zest. Also have the matching aftershave, alcohol based. And her husband, Matthew, makes these beautiful handles. Uh, shave like a president. These are made for Frank Misa and also in a partnership, I believe, with West Coast Shaving. I've got that in there with a 24mm silver tip badger. First time I've ever used it, I did give it a wash uh, the other day and let it soak overnight in uh, Phoenix Shaving uh, Brush Soap. I've done a demo on that in a previous video. Um, so this is not broken in, it'll be my first use of it. So, we'll get this little water in our Thirsty Badger Lather Bowl. Maybe a little bit too much. And we'll start tilt the camera down. Now that's the first use on that brush. It's not broken in, so it's not going to build a huge lather for the first few uses until they broke in. So, on my left side, and I'm not sure which way to hold it. I'm going to hold it like this, and we're going to see if the blade angles, how the blade angle is. Just on our left side. Oh. There, that's better. Very smooth, very efficient. So we'll put that one down. And we are going to grab our fun accoutrement super, super light from my right side. Now the way that slants work is they work on the idea of similar to a guillotine. They don't use a chopping motion, they rely kind of like a guillotine. 
the blade coming down like this. It's more efficient because it's more of a it's also a slicing motion as well. You also don't want to use any pressure at all with a slant. You don't use any pressure with any razor. Now the first slant I got, I believe was a PAA big light slant. And that was also a half an ounce. Really enjoyed using that. Kind of got me hooked on them. This one's a little bit slippery to hold. The normally not too, too bad. It's a little bit slippery to hold on to. Okay, so not bad. Not great, but not bad for first pass. So. Now, one thing with slants, and I think I might be doing it with this uh, upsole, is that your, your brain kind of wants to compensate rather than letting it go down like this on a slant. Your brain normally wants to compensate and adjust your hand so it goes down like that. And I think that's what I might be doing with this. A little bit scratching those bristles, like I said, because it's brand new, it hasn't been broken in. But once it breaks in a few uses, it won't take nearly as long as it does with a bore. It'll get extremely soft and make lather like nothing. Again, I'm probably holding this blade wrong, but. Try it this way. Okay, maybe I was using it wrong. Well, you can see what's got the peaks on there. Maybe the point is to lay this flat against your face. I would say that's so I did it wrong on my first pass. Plus light weepers, no big deal. There we go, now we're getting through it. So I'll wet the face and do one more. So, I mean, that's just getting a new brush. You know, like I said, when it comes to natural hairs, and I have, I've got a couple of horsehair brushes, I haven't tried them yet. But your bore is going to take several uses to get broken in. I have a Simone Gate 30 that I love. It did, I artificially broke it in over a couple of days in several uses. But, I mean, that's just to be expected. I have synthetics as well, and, of course, they work. I mean, they don't have any break-in period whatsoever as far as I can deal with it. But an actual hair does. But once you get it broken, they'll just be great brushes. And I have no doubt that a silver tip is going to be one of my tops. I mean, currently my Coyote Cola two band badger is right now my favorite. Okay, so we'll try this.
slight bit of irritation there. So again, having not used the uh, silver bows before, I don't know if it was because of those, but uh, I'm not going to push my luck with that. Overall, fairly smooth, just down here, and I'm, it's getting irritated there, so I'm just not going to push it. So we'll give this a clean up, and uh, yeah, we'll come back, back, and we'll put the alum to it, and uh, then we'll put splash to it. So we'll be right back. Hey guys, we're back. Got to clean out of my beard. So I do razor rock alum. There's a few weepers. There's a little bit of irritation. Surprisingly, not much burn. So we'll let that soak there for a sec. So I do like slants. Um, again, typically where I use a uh, wash cut, I'm not sure. Perhaps it was the silver blues. Just not used to them. But uh, yeah, all in all, not bad. Just a bit of irritation. Like I said, you're gonna get one every now and then. So give that a quick rinse. Wipe up our work area. The aftershave splash mixing. Again, Sorrento lemons, sugar cane, and lemon zest. Nice flow limiter. That's really, really nice. So guys, today we used Strike Gold Shave Nixon Commander-in-Chief Formula Tallow made by Jennifer Martin of Decadent Bubbles for Strike Gold Shave, Frank Misa. You can find those products on his Etsy shop or, or and or on the West Coast Shaving, so Magic Splash. They do some for several of the presidents. I did a video of that a little while ago. Also used the Brush Guy 24 millimeter silver tip badger. This is from Matthew Martin. This is Jennifer's husband. Makes these again for West Coast shaving. I believe he makes the 26s for West Coast and the 24s for Frank Mesa's Tri Gold Shave. Of course, our Thirsty Badger Lather Bowl. Fine accoutrements, super light, half ounce, ABS with a UV hardened metallic coating on it. Bought that from Justin Chatlani in Toronto and from your friend and mine, Lon the Verd, the Sask Shaver. This is the Upsell Solingen, made in Germany between 19. 32 in 1939. They marketed it as an adjustable slant. And in both those I used Gillette Silver Blues. Just recently got these from a buddy of mine, uh, Dennis Short, who accepted one of my Christmas uh, YouTube channel giveaway, Luther Lather. So anyway guys, that'll finish this up for today. I gotta get ready to go trucking, so um, your comments, your suggestions, good, bad, and different, feel free to leave them down below. I love to read them. I'll respond as quickly as I can. So, anyway, time to get my button gear and go trucking. So, you guys take care. We'll see you again in a few days. Bye-bye.